Hey guys, I have created a tutorial on how to make a calculator application and this is the application that we made. Uh, I have added some more buttons but I am not going to talk about it now. I am going to run this app first and then I will show you what we are going to do in this particular tutorial. Um, so I will just enter some numbers and then I am going to click on this plus button it is giving the correct answer for all the addition subtraction multiplication and division but what if we just leave a field blank or we type any character like this so now if I click on any button then it, the app will stop unfortunately my calculator has stopped so how to uh, take care of that because user might click or uh, user might enter some invalid values so I'm going to take care of that in this tutorial so open main activity.java file and here before doing this the addition subtraction multiplication and division uh, we'll check it here only so I'll just make a string variable string um, b1 is equal to a1 dot get string sorry get text dot to string so as you can see here I'm converting this a1 value into the double data type here I am converting into string and I'm going to check if it is a number or not. Same for A2. Get text dot to string. So what we can do here is uh, first we'll check if it is empty or not. If it is empty, then we'll show a pop-up message saying that please enter some numbers in the fields to get the result something like that so first I'll just remove it so for that we are going to write if b1 dot is empty or b2 dot is empty if one of them is empty it will return true if both of them are empty it will also return true so in that case we are going to show a pop-up message toast empty string and here we are going to write toast dot make text and it takes three parameters context so for context it will write we will write main activity dot this the text the message that we want to show I will write um, one of the field is empty and the duration is toast dot length short or length long if you want and dot show so it will show that message or what we can do here is um, empty string dot show like this so it will take care of the empty condition else if now we are going to check if um, both of them are numbers or not if one of them is a character or a string then we will need to show one more pop-up message so we will write character dot is letter and here b1 dot caret 0 so we will just check the first character uh, if this is letter or character dot is letter b2 dot char at 0 so if one of them is a string or a character then it will show this message toast character string is equal to toast dot make text your main activity 
dot this comma uh, message can be uh, please enter numbers only comma toast dot length short and car string dot show and after that we write else everything else will happen so else will start here and it will end after this one so now I'm going to run this application so I'll click on this button and I'll wait for the activity to start on the simulator so now the app is uh, launched on the emulator now I'm going to enter some numbers first we'll check if it is working or not mm, and then I'll click on all the buttons and now I'm going to leave one field empty so I'll just remove this and I'll click on plus button it show one of the field is empty and I'm going to leave both the fields empty now and now I'm going to click on any one button one of the field is empty now I'm going to insert um, characters here and numbers here and now I'm going to click on this button so to show please enter numbers only so it is working now we have taken care of all the conditions empty field invalid input everything so I hope that all the doubts that you have are cleared now and thanks for watching this video make sure to subscribe to my channel for more android development tutorials and also hit the like button bye